The most discussed aircraft and future programs here at Le Bourget bring into focus the engines that propel them. These power plants promise increased efficiency and thrust. CFM International secured its first order to put the LEAP engine family on the Airbus A320neo with a 1.4 billion Virgin America buy. The LEAP 1XA, as the engine is called, features a bigger fan and added low pressure turbine stage. CFM started LEAP production engine standard core test in late May at GE's Evendale site in Ohio. CFM has secured several more A320neo commitments since. The LEAP also could see application as part of Boeing's hybrid approach to re-engineing the 737. It could outfit the narrow body with a modified engine, basically a CFM 56-7B engine with LEAP technology such as the fan, as an interim solution until Boeing launches its NSA. That's Boeing's as yet undefined new small airplane concept. LEAP's rival on the A320neo is the Pratt & Whitney Pure Power PW1100G geared turbofan. The LEAP version in that family powers Bombardier C-Series. That engine achieved its first flight on Pratt's Boeing 747 flying testbed on Monday, June 20th. Like the LEAP engine, Pratt's Pure Power engines will use a larger, ultra-high bypass fan for greater efficiency and less noise. In light of efforts to re-engine the workhorses of the industry, IAE's V2500 program could see an end as technologies outpace it. At the other end of the airliner thrust spectrum, there is also a flurry of activity. Rolls-Royce is developing a higher thrust version of its Trent XWB for the revamped Airbus A350-1000, aimed at delivering 4,000 pounds greater thrust. A version of the turbofan also could power Boeing's 777 successor if further thrust can be gained. General Electric has been developing performance improvement packages for the GENX-1B and Dash 2B to bring the Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental's fuel burn to its original target. The company has said it plans to start offering the improvements in early 2013. GE Aviation also will start test of an advanced compressor in 2012, aimed at a GE90 successor program dubbed the GE9X. The plan emerges as GE sees the first glimmers of potential competition to its dominant position on the 777 in very large engines.